Egypt's pyramids and its car license plates have at least one thing in common. They're both relics of the past. Most license plates here are barely legible. Some drivers do without them entirely. And no one seems to be bothered about that, at least in Cairo. With the police, it's a different story. The authorities have now taken action. And Finance Minister Youssef Boutros Ghali recently decided the time had come to introduce a new kind of registration plate and to make sure every car has a set. And, uh, I went out and um, uh, asked around in Europe and North America which is the best company that produces license plates. They gave me two names, one of which was this German company. The company is named Uch, and it's based in the western German city of Siegen. It's been making number plates for over 40 years. Uch says it has designed a forgery-proof model for the Egyptians. Plates for trucks are marked red, those for cars, blue. The letters and numbers are covered by a security film that's practically impossible to tamper with. Manufacturing so many plates is a mammoth undertaking. We now have four production lines up and running. There used to be just two. We also have a three-shift system to cope with these huge orders. They're worth almost 25 million euros. The security holograms otherwise only found on banknotes are evidently in big demand. Saudi Arabia has also placed an order for its license plates. The family-run company has had to expand its production facilities. The nine million license plate job for Egypt is being overseen by Marcus Müller. He has the full confidence of his boss, Manfred Uch. He's also been in the business for ages now. I remember we once had a huge job in Tehran. We were negotiating with the local officials and police for two long weeks. At some point I said, that's enough, it's time to make a decision. And we got the contract. There were problems, but Mr. Müller was involved every step of the way. Outside a vehicle registration office in Cairo, car owners are exchanging their old license plates for new ones. Motorbike plates are somewhat trickier. It's often hard to know where and how to attach them. Not in here. That's all. I mean, standard is front and back side. Yeah, one and one. This is what they uh, decided to do now. But this motorcycle would need uh, something to fix the plates here. Yeah. Yes. The man in charge of the project at the Interior Ministry says people used to get up to all kinds of tricks to avoid trouble. These are the first norms we've had for car license plates. In the past, we had problems following up on traffic violations. Some drivers tried to change or erase the lettering. At the registration office, motorists can wait for hours to get their new plates. And they cost the equivalent of 16 euros, which is a lot of money by local standards. If all goes according to plan, the old plates will have disappeared completely a year from now. Until then, the Uch company can expect to be very busy. I will go with you. So, a new era has dawned for Egyptian car owners. As well as the new tamper-resistant license plates, they're having to get used to much stricter traffic regulations. But that's a whole other story.